The wait is finally over for around 100 local Coast Guard families. The Portsmouth base cutter Tampa returning to Hampton Roads after a short but vital deployment. Mike Gooding was there for the reunion. As military deployments go, this one wasn't that long, just 67 days. But for the Coast Guard cutter Tampa, these past eight weeks have been very meaningful. They saved lives, more than 100 of them, during their deployment in the Florida Straits and Windward Pass. The 39-year-old, 270-foot-long medium endurance cutter has five primary missions. Maritime law enforcement, search and rescue, homeland security, national defense, and international engagement. This patrol focused on search and rescue. Well, we did the job. Um, you know, we went down in the Florida Straits. Our, our focus was safety and life at sea, and this crew did it, and they did it fantastically. Days get, they get busy, they get long, um, and it's a lot of hours worked, and uh, credit to everyone on board Tampa. I mean, there's been some really long days underway, but uh, that overall feeling of just knowing that you helped somebody out on the water that was in distress, it, it trumps all else. It's really cool to see, you know, a lot of the people that come on board are very happy to see us, and. They're thankful that we're there and it's really cool to be a part of those evolutions because not a lot of people get a chance to do things like this out on the water. The Tampa once again living up to its motto, thy way is the sea, thy path is the great waters. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. And this is a true case of no rest for the weary. Back on April 26, the Tampa returned from an 88 day patrol in the Florida Straits and Caribbean Sea. That patrol resulted in the repatriation of more than 400 migrants.